Johnson. Heckler. Pyle. Pyle. Waxman. Pyle. 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 Origio. Pyle. Pyle. Pretty Pink Petunia Company? <laughs> Must be those flower seeds I sent away for. They send you a free sample along with a booklet on Petunia Raising for Fun and Profit. Gosh, <laughs> can I read it when you're through? I know you're just kidding, Joey, but it's just plain wonderful what you can get for free by just sending away for it. Well, the postcard's mine and all the rest are piles. Cure your cold by hypnotism. <laughs> ABCs of kelp farming. <laughs> Plywood and you. Freighter cruises to the Antarctic. <laughs> Dental technology for beginners. <laughs> Migrate now to Paraguay. Some of the companies send you free samples of the things they got coming out. Like this here shaving cream. It's brown instead of white, and it leaves your face suntanned after you finish shaving. Would you like to try it? Got a guy around here named Pyle. Over there. Your name Pyle? A Gomer Pyle? Yes, sir. A sign here, delivery. A delivery? Now just sign it, will you? I gotta get my truck out of here. Don't tell me you've got a whole truckload of petunia seeds. <laughs> what are you delivering? See for yourself. This is yours? Well, it can't be. I just don't understand. Sir, I'm afraid there's been a mix-up. Your name's Gomer Pyle, ain't it? Well, yes, sir, but well, who, how, what? It's one of the prizes from the Frost Flip Bottling Company. You entered the contest, didn't you? Yes, sir, I think so. So you won. Happy sailing. Oh, vote that, Pyle. Your own vote. Well, it's a beauty. You gonna give us a ride, Gom? A boat? Maybe we can put it in the parking lot. Come on, you guys. Uh, not now. We have to get over to the rifle range. We'll move it after we get back. Okay, hey, come on! Let's go! A boat! Those clowns get over the rifle range? Yeah, about an hour ago. When they get back, send them to the sick bay for their booster shots. A boat? <laughs> On a marine base? Anything wrong? For a minute, I thought I saw a boat out there. A boat? You're kidding. I know it was an hallucination, but it looked so real. Maybe I ought to go to the doctors, too. Liv, Liv, Liv. Detail? Right? Hey. Dismiss. All right, let's get over to the parking lot. Let's go. All right, everybody, heave ho. You know, I have been pushing pretty hard. Could be I need a nice long rest. You look OK to me, Sarge. Maybe you could use a little more sleep, but outside of that, <laughs> there it is again, boy. I'm really seeing things. You're not seeing things, Sarge. There is a boat out there. All right, what's going on here? We're just taking this boat to the parking lot. Where did it come from? Whose is it? It's mine, Sergeant. I think. Yours? This belongs to you? Yes, sir. I won it in a contest. How about that, Sarge? Isn't it a handsome one? All right, knock it off. You clowns clear out of here. Boy, I'll get them over for their booster shots. All in. All except you, Kyle. Do you want to see me, Sergeant? Yeah, in the well, office. Hey, I want to hear the whole story hey, about this hey, boat. Hey, I never heard anything hey, so stupid hey, in all my life. Hey, a boat hey, on a marine base? Hey, all right, now let's hear it. Nice hey, and slow. Hey, well? This Frost Flip Soda Pop Company had this contest to write a jingle, so I sent one in. A jingle? What kind of jingle? Once I remembered, it went something like this. Here's the tip. Take a nip of Frost Flip. It's got flavor galore and much, much, much more. With zip and zip in each sip. <laughs> zip and zip. With zip and zip in each sip. For that, you want a boat? 
Believe me, Sergeant, I'm just as surprised as you are. But you don't have to worry about a thing. It won't get in anybody's way because I've decided to send it back to the company. You're going to send it back? Well, I hope they won't think I'm too ungrateful, but I've come to realize that a boat would be just too much for me, what with the expenses and all, so it's best I send it back. And end up with nothing? Oh, just the joy of winning is reward enough for me, Sergeant. Pyle, come with me. Have you ever thought how much fun you could have on a boat? Yeah, I guess it could be fun. You bet it could. <laughs> Oh, uh, look, Pyle, you might be right. This may be too much for you to swing all by yourself. But now, if you had a partner, then it wouldn't be no sweat at all. A partner? Well, sure. I might even go in with you. You would? Sure. I'll take care of all the expenses. I mean, what could that be? Gas and oil? I pay the whole freight. You don't have to do anything except supply the boat. What do you say? <laughs> Golly, Sergeant. That sounds just perfect. Why, well, I'd be honored to be partners with you on anything. Then it's a deal. We're partners. Now, we can even use my car to tow it down to the ocean. Come on. Well, it's just one thing that worries me, Sergeant. It sounds like I'm getting the best part of the deal. Are you sure this is being fair to you? Don't worry, pile. It's going to be all right for me. <laughs> yes, sir. It's going to be plenty all right for me. <laughs> Uh, come on, pile. Let's hook that boat on my car. Guess that does it, Sergeant. Okay, let's put the show on the road. Hop in. Ah, uh, it's a beautiful day to break in a boat. All set, pile? Yes, sir, Sergeant. This is going to be the start of something wonderful. Anchors away! <laughs> I was afraid of owning it. Right away, there's an expense. You're probably gonna need a new bumper. Guess it wasn't on too good. This is a terrible way for us to begin our partnership, Sergeant. Get it, pile. So I'll just get myself a new bumper. Golly, that's really gonna cost. Well, how much can it be? My department, don't worry about it. Besides, it's nothing when you realize I'm getting a new boat out of the deal. Come on, there's a garage a half mile from here. The guy can put on a new bumper in no time at all. Sergeant. Afternoon, sir. May I see your driver's license, please? Yes, sir. Is the car registered in your name? Yes, sir. Uh, what's the trouble? Well, when pulling a trailer, your car has to have an extended rearview mirror. An extended rearview mirror? I didn't know anything about that. Yeah, well, these things happen the first time out, so I'll pay the fine. You have tickets and duplicate? No, this ticket is because you don't have a safety chain on your hitch. Well, at least we didn't get one for speeding. The limit's 65, and I was only going 60. We are getting one for speeding? Pulling a trailer, the limit's 50. Now, it could be worse. If it was night, you'd get another one for not having side lights. Say, Sergeant, there's a good side to ever find. Would you sign right here, please? This is going to cost me a fortune. Well, you should have checked the rules before you took to the road. And here. And one more. <laughs> and here you are. And one, two, three. <laughs> Better get those things taken care of right away. First the bumper, now this, Sergeant. Golly, I'd already be busted if it wasn't for you. Hold on, it's sure a lot easier when you got a partner. Partner. <laughs> Pile, 
our fellow mariners. In a couple of minutes, we'll be out there with them. It's going to be great. What's the matter? I was just thinking about our partnership, Sergeant. What with the bumper and the tickets and everything, it's really beginning to add up. Forget it, pile. Having the boat is more than worth it. So there are a couple of little expenses. I'm a partner. I got to lay out something. I suppose so. All we got to do now is gas her up and slide her into the water. Come on. Hey, Sergeant. Hey. Look, boat license is sold here. Do we need a license? I don't know. Well, I guess we better go inside and find out. Yeah. Ahoy there. Aye. Uh, that boat we got out there, do we need a license for that? For all boats, fill this out. Good for three years. I'll do it, Sergeant. And I insist on paying half the license. Uh, that license for three years, uh, how much is it? Five bucks. That's two dollars and a half for me. Hold it, hold it. It's my pleasure. I said I would pay all expenses, and when Vince Carter makes a deal, it's a deal. Not a penny from you. His money's no good here, understand? Yeah. Okay, Sergeant. All right, let's see now. One, two, three, four, five. There you go. How long would you say that boat of ours is, Sergeant? You'll find all that in the old license from the guy you bought it from. But there is no old license. It's a brand new boat. New boat? That's right. This ain't no secondhand tub we're talking about. It's factory fresh, first time in the water. First time in the water. Here's your license sticker. It, let me finish that for you. Yeah. Where's your boat? Uh, it's right out there, the one on the trailer. Oh, it's a beautiful boat, 20-footer. <laughs> Don't put that away yet. Huh? Well, it's a new boat. You'll be needing things. Oh, look, buddy, we don't want none of them flags and junk. We don't need anything. Oh, so you've got your life preservers. Hmm? Life preservers? Well, no, but we're both good swimmers, and... It's the law. Life preserver for every passenger. Makes good sense. Safety first. <laughs> How much are they? Well, Ten dollars a piece. Six for fifty. Most people buy them that way. Fifty dollars? Yeah, well, we just want two. That's for the two of us. Right. Why should you get something you don't need? Since you won't be taking out any girls, two's plenty. Girls? <laughs> uh, just a minute. Make that a dozen. Dozen life preservers. One hundred dollars. Don't put it away. Huh? Now, the law requires a couple of other things. A compass and a bailing pump. I'll let you have that for seventeen dollars. To put a twenty-footer in the water, and I'm giving you guys a chance to get in on a real good deal. As all you guys know, Pyle has got this here boat, and I offered the use of my car to pull it around. Well, it just don't seem fair for us to hog the whole thing to ourselves, so we decided to let the whole platoon in on our good fortune. Now, as many of you guys that are interested in sharing in the fun and whatever incidental expenses there may be, just sign right here and we're in business. Hey, sounds good. These expenses, Sergeant, what are they? Oh, well, like, uh, there's the license. That's uh, five bucks for three years. Say we got ten guys, that's 50 cents apiece for three years. All right, step right up, one at a time now. Don't cry. Eddie's. This your boat, Sergeant? Hey, yes, sir, but it's just here temporary, sir. Nice looking job, very trim. Thank you, sir. But it's blocking the roadway. Better move it. Aye, aye, sir. Get the signatures. I'll be right back. Well, that certainly sounds good. Fifty cents for three years. Give me that pen, Paul. Well, there's the other things, too. What other things? Well, there's the life preservers and the compass and the bailing pump. Sergeant didn't have time to name them all. Well, how much is all? Well, it's about $200 to start off with. And then there's $5 every time it goes into the water or $40 a month for dock space. And then there's the insurance. And if we want a bait tank, then we have to buy one of those for fishing. <laughs> 
<laughs> Great bunch of guys. I bet it was unanimous, huh? It sure was, Sergeant. Hey, give me that. <laughs> this is what we should have done right from the beginning. What? Where's... Well, none of them wanted in. Not one. Impossible. What's wrong with them guys? Sergeant, why don't we sail the boat? No. We're still going to swing it ourselves, even without them clowns. And when they see what great fun we're having, they're going to come crawling. Now, let's see. I got just enough to handle the insurance and the dock. I still think we ought to sell it, and that way I could pay you back everything, and then we wouldn't have any more problems. Look, if somebody came along and offered us a big, fat profit for it, sure we'd sell it. Then we could buy another one and come out ahead. Another boat? That's right. But until that happens, we're holding on to this one. There can't be any more problems. We got everything the law requires. What else can there be? You mean Pyle is going to have to pay an income tax on that boat? That's right. <laughs> One of my main duties with the tax department is assisting contest winners. Most people don't realize that prizes are treated as ordinary income. Yeah, I guess not. And the amount of the tax will depend, of course, on the value of the boat. So if you'll ask him to fill in. Hi, Sarge. Pyle? Pyle? Uh, this is Mr. Markham. He wants to talk to Pyle about the boat. How? Yes, sir. What can I do for you? Well, I'd like to find out what you think the boat is worth. I'm sure that we can agree on something reasonable. Golly, I don't know. I imagine it's worth it. Why? Are uh, you interested in buying it, buddy? Well, fact is... Because if you are, the price is uh, $7,000. <laughs> that much, Sergeant? Well, I wouldn't even think it's worth half that. Pa's right, Sarge. It's not worth anywhere. <laughs> what do you guys know? I'm telling you, buddy, seven grand, maybe more. That does seem high. Are you quite sure? Look, I'm a partner. Don't you think I know what I own? Partner? You mean the part owner? Yeah, him and me. 50-50. And if you're interested in buying it, the price is 7,000 bucks, not a penny less. Oh, I'm not interested in buying it. I'm from the Internal Revenue Service. Internal Revenue Service? Yes, you'll pay a tax based on the value of the boat, which now appears to be considerably more than I'd estimated. But there's a bright side. You won't have to pay all the tax, since the sergeant here has informed me that he is co-owner. Then you'll pay tax on half the boat. <laughs> pay tax on half the boat. Excuse me. Oh, hey, Sergeant. I thought we agreed that the only way to pay the taxes is to get your money back is to sell the boat. But just putting a sign on it won't sell it. It won't? Never. You got to use salesmanship, the personal approach. Uh, give me Sergeant Dubensky at the commissary. Dubensky's perfect. He's got all kinds of money, and I can sell anything to that meathead. Hello, Gus. Vance. Yeah, how's the family? Good, good. Great bunch of kids. You know... I was just thinking, with a family like that, what could be better for you all to enjoy during their growing years in a boat? Now, it just so happens that... I... Huh? Yeah, a boat. What's so funny about that? <laughs> Look, it's a great buy, brand new. Gus, will you stop laughing? <laughs> Gus! Does he want to buy? The guy's got no class. <laughs> Who needs him anyway? Uh, get me Sergeant Hackett, Company C. The line's busy? Well, I'll wait. I should have called him in the first place. He'll take it just like that. Hello, Charlie. Vince, say I was... What are you laughing at? <laughs> Dubensky just phoned you about the boat. <laughs> all right, all right, forget it. Sergeant? Maybe I'd better go over there and put our phone number on that for sale sign. That way, people will be calling us. Pyle, will you forget about that sign? It don't mean a thing. Believe me, the only thing that counts is personal hustle. Uh, hey, Chuck! That is. How about that boat, Sergeant? Uh, yes, sir. We're going to move it, Lieutenant. We'll have it out of there right away. Well, why? Have you sold it? Well, no, sir. Not yet. Oh, good. I saw the for sale sign on it, and I'm interested. If the price is reasonable, I'd like to buy it. Did you hear that, Sergeant? The lieutenant seen the sign. Well, it's all done, 
Sergeant. We've delivered the boat where the lieutenant wanted it. Now we can cash this check and get you your money back. Uh, what's the matter? Sure is a pretty thing, ain't it? Yeah, she's real sweet looking. And we never got out of it. No, we never did. Well, it just ain't right. We're entitled to at least one ride on it after all we've been through. One ride anyway. But the boat belongs to the lieutenant now. You haven't cashed a check yet. I just got to get on that baby once. Come on, get in the boat. Cast off the line, Paul. <laughs> Listen to that. Purrs like a kitten. Yeah, it sounds real nice. <laughs> this is going to be our first and last trip, but we're going to make it a great one. I'll take it out to sea, and we'll really give it a ride. Oh, you might as well get rid of that sign now. But, Sergeant, I... Just pull it up. We don't need it anymore. <laughs> Sergeant? Not now, Pyle. But, Sergeant... Pyle, you never talk to the captain when you're casting off. Okay, we're pushing off. Oh, sailing, sailing over the bombing bay. But, Sergeant... <laughs> Where did all this water come from? Well, it's coming from over here. Why are you stupid? Well, it never would have happened if I'd had a claw hammer. Boy, that thing was really nailed in there. Why will you shut up and get the pump? Get the bailey pump! Here. Oh, hold on. Boy, that fella at the store was right about one thing. We really did need this pump. Yeah. Well, Mike, he's right about something else. I think we're going to need those life preservers. <laughs> hey, Sergeant. I've got some good news for a change. Oh? I just talked to Mr. Markham on the phone, you know, the man from the Internal Revenue, and he said since the boat sank, it's considered a casualty loss, so there's no tax owed on it. Well, that's something anyway. I still feel real bad about you having to spend all that money on traffic tickets and safety supplies. What can I do, pile? I gambled and I lost? Well, one good thing came out of this, Sergeant. I've learned my lesson. I ain't gonna never enter another contest. Just like this application I got in the mail. You know what I'm gonna do with it? I'm gonna throw it right here in this wastebasket. I don't care if they are giving away a brand new convertible. I just ain't interested. A brand new convertible? The White on White Soap Company for the best lice line to their jingle. Let's see that. The soap for you is white on white. White, white. What rhymes with white? But, Sergeant? A fight, light, bright. Well, don't just stand there, pile. Think of some words. Sight, light. Light, night. Trite, white, fine. <laughs> 